Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to do electrical stimulation to get ankle dorsiflexion, okay? So we're using Ola's right leg here. So I will show you typically where you put the electrodes. It differs between people. So typically where you start, you find the head of the fibula, and then you go just maybe one finger width down below it, and then just a, maybe about an inch toward the front, and you'll be on the belly of the anterior tibialis. So I'm going to put one there, and then I'm going to put one a few inches down the leg. We may get lucky, and this may be the right setup. But this one is variable between people, so we may have to change some things up. So let me set up my machine. And I'll read my settings out to you. Custom 10 on, 50 off. Go leave it at 50 PPS. It's a small muscle, so let's go asymmetrical waveform. Synchronous. Ramp time is still two. Pulse width. It's a small muscle, so let's go 150. 10 minutes, lock known, and we're ready. Okay, so let your foot relax. So this is what we're looking to see is for her ankle to dorsiflex. So I told you a minute ago to work with the machine. Mm -hmm. For this first one, let's just see what the machine can do. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna start going up. Let me know when you feel it. Okay. Anything? No. I feel a little pain in there. Okay. Uh oh. Now, look at what happened. The ankle is dorsiflexing but inverting. And we don't want that. So I'm gonna pause it. I turned it off. Okay, so what, what that meant was that we've got too much stimulation for the inverter section, the inverter fibers of the anterior tibialis and some of the posterior tibialis. So I'm going to take this bottom electrode and move it a little bit more medial. Usually you just want to mess with one electrode at a time. I'm going to leave all my settings the same. Let's try this again. Feel anything? No, not too. Not yet. Last time you got it at 12. We're at 12 now. Right between. Full team wing. Okay. Now she's starting to move. Inversion but and dorsiflexion, but less inversion. Is that painful? No. Just weird? Yeah. Well, that's pretty good. And we got some toe extension there. Okay. I'm going to try one more thing to get it perfect. I'm going to take this top electrode and move it over just a little bit laterally to see if I can get pure dorsiflexion and not get any inversion. So this one should get it. I feel like this, I feel lucky about this one. Feel it? Mm -hmm. Okay. This is usually about where you start going up. No. Because we're higher now. Okay, it's doing its own thing now. Okay. Good. Painful? Painful? It's not painful. But Just weird? Yeah. Okay. Now, let it go. Now, as you can see, it dorsiflexed. Is it on right now? Yes. Okay. And then it's going to go off. Did you turn it off? 
No, wait, this is the rest time. Okay. So there's your rest time. So let's just sit here for one more cycle because I want to make sure it's just pure dorsiflexion. So it's going to be like 50 seconds. Okay. It's a long off time. Um, if you were getting too much eversion, sometimes that happens. That means your pads are too far over here and you need to put them on the front of the leg. We're waiting on one more contraction. And second. Okay. There it goes. Really, ooh. So see, that's a little too much eversion. So see what happened when I moved the pad over a little bit? I got pure dorsiflexion. So now I'm gonna move this pad. I, I paused it. And I'm going to move it over here to the front. We're going to go again. And this is common that with the ankle to get dorsiflexion, you have to play around with the electro placement because everybody's just a little bit different. Okay, so we're at 12. It's usually where you start to feel it. Okay, so her ankle is moving. There it goes. That's the machine? Mm -hmm. Okay. So that, I would take that. That's dorsiflexion with a little bit of inversion, but barely. So now I would ask Ola, every time you feel the machine come on, contract with it. Okay. And then when it goes off, you can relax. And that's it.